So what's happened since my last update? Well, the market's gone up, it's gone down, it's gone up, it's gone down. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, um, but overall, the S&P 500 has gone up, which is mainly due to a lot of earnings calls coming recently and Tesla just going absolutely parabolic and then not so parabolic and everything's just been happening. And we're gonna see what's happened to my portfolio very shortly. But before we do that, if you haven't got your free shares from Free Trade, Trading 212 or Stake, then the links are in the description. So enjoy them at your heart's content. <laughs> So here's my portfolio. In the last month, it has gone pretty mad. So this time last month, we're at 21K, um, and today we're all the way up at 22 and a half. Um, during the month, we did actually sneak up to 23K, wherever that's gone. Um, just breached 23K before it slowly dropped. <laughs> 500 quid in a matter of hours, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're all good, long-term investing, thinking long-term, you know what I mean. It doesn't matter about the month to month, it's about year to year and what happens at the end of this when I need all this money. <laughs> so let's look at the losers in my portfolio for this month. So I've got AT&T, which was down a little bit last month, but it's not affecting my portfolio too much, down 13%. Deliveroo, not really much, only five quid in there. Dolby Laboratories, down 6%. IBM, down seven. PayPal is taking a big hit this month because they are not expected to meet their earnings. However, they have just done a big deal with Amazon in regards to Venmo. So I think there's a lot of potential in PayPal and I'm still gonna go with that. All that being said, I do think that PayPal are still a good buy. The reason for that is the potential growth with what they're doing in crypto is huge. So if they get that right, then they will be a huge company. Um, however, it's just a bit of a setback at the moment, but I mean, that's my sign to jump in, isn't it? So that's what I'll be doing. <laughs> um, we've also got Phoenix Groups down 8%, which is a dividend stock, so that's not ideal. Uh, Roku down 20, getting battered. Surface Oncology down 22, but let's not really talk about that. Uh, Unilever up, down 8%, sorry. Um, and Verizon down four, and Zoom again down 25%. So. Overall, this a bit more red than usual, but it's not impacting my portfolio too much. It's mainly small holdings taking a big hit, so we're, we're all good. <laughs> That's my losers, but how are you doing? What's happening in your portfolio? Is it up, is it down, is it left, is it right? We'll see, but now on to the winners. My man Elon has helped me out big this month, and then also not helped me out. So it's been a bit of a roller coaster, and most of the reason why the stock market has been up and down is because of Tesla. So thanks, Elon, you're you're doing wonders. Um, sorry, I'm just fixing my script so I can see it. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> so at one point the other week, I saw that my Tesla position was up 108%. So I decided to make a TikTok about it, obviously, um, and get back into posting there. So if you want to follow me over there, feel free. And then that video got banned, which is not ideal, but I do have a copy of it there. So I'll just put it there. You No sound or anything, you can just see me, my face. Just, um, <laughs> anyway, so that was absolutely mad. It got to an uh, unreal number. Three figures is the first time I've had that in my portfolio. Um, so I'm quite happy about that. And on that run-up, Tesla actually made history with the biggest 12-day streak of gains in history in the whole of the stock market. So that's absolutely mad. I thought I was onto the winner and I thought I was taking it to the moon and I was gonna be the richest man on the planet. However, Elon had other ideas. He decided to tweet this. Madness, I know. <laughs> so the premise of that was he was gonna sell some of his shares in Tesla in order to pay some tax. And although it's had an impact on my portfolio, it's not really the end of the world. You can't really control other people's actions. You just gotta go with the flow and adapt. And although Elon has taken a lot of money out of his company, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean Tesla's gonna fall into the bin. It's gonna fall off the face of the earth. Very unlikely to happen, especially with the speculation of this deal with Hertz, which is gonna be set to be a huge deal. That's why the run-up started in the first place. So although Tesla was up 108% now, it's now down to 68%, which is not ideal. Uh, <laughs> so that has come down significantly, but it's still up 68%, which is my highest highest one. So I'm happy with that. Um, and then next we have Wells Fargo, which again was this one that I should, probably should have just kept putting more money into. Um, I decided not, I thought it was gonna die basically. I thought the company was gonna die um, back in 2020. And errors were made, errors were made.
because we're up 64% now um, and it would have been significantly higher if I continued to invest into them back in the day. Um, but it is what it is, it happens to the best of us, even the smart ones with moustaches. I'm joking, I'm joking, that is not me, um, but yeah. So what else have we got here? We've got the Vanguard S&P 500, which is up 58%. My main holding, most of my money's in there, so I'm happy with that. That's actually insane for the S&P 500. Um, so we will continue investing in that and hopefully it makes us rich in the long term. And then if we work our way through here, we'll go back to the top so we can see we've got AbV up 6%, Airbnb up 40, looking healthy, Alphabet slash Google up 45, Amazon 8%. Take that, Apple up 43%, which has come down a fair bit. I still think Apple are a good company to be invested in, um, but that's just my opinion. Make sure you do your own research, please. And then we've got the Bank of Montreal up 42%. We've got Coca-Cola up 12 Coinbase up 40%. It's been an up and down um, couple of weeks for Coinbase as well. Um, we've got the FTSE 100 up 15%, which is pretty good. Um, we've got the e-car. Um, electric Vehicles ETF, which is up 14%. Kindrill Holdings, not sure how to say that. I think it's a subsidiary of IBM. Um, and I think they just randomly gave me this £1.96 worth of shares. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> and then we've got Legal and General up 12%. Netflix up 33%, which is looking tasty. Shopify up 38%. The S&P UK dividend up 7%, which is good for a dividend. ETF, Square, 6, Starbucks, 10. Um, and then we're back to what we were up earlier. Walt Disney, 33%, loving that. Um, and then we've got another dividend ETF down here, up 9% with the Wisdom Tree Quality Dividend ETF. <laughs> so that's my portfolio, looking fairly good. Um, but just please remember that you've got to do your own research because these are all past gains. You're not going to get the same results as me if you invest right now. So you need to make sure that you know that and you make sure that you invest into the right things and the things that you know, the things that you trust, etc. etc. Sorry to be boring, but it must be said. And overall, my portfolio is looking good. And if I continue to invest what I'm investing, which is around £150 every single month, by the time I hit the age of 66, I'll have £1 million invested and I'll be ready to retire on a beach, sipping our martini, or I don't drink the type of martinis, sipping on something very lovely and expensive, and being ready to sort of live off my dividends, live off my investment returns. So that'd be a great place to be. <laughs> and really just shows that it's not really how much money you have, it's the time that you have. So the more time that you have, the younger you start investing, the better it actually is for you. So even if it's a little bit, get into the habit of doing so, it makes a big difference. But saying that, I don't really want to retire at 66. I'd rather retire a little bit earlier and use some of that money for funner things. So um, hopefully I'll get to a point where I can invest £1,666 every single month and max out my ISA, max out my pensions, all of that stuff and just slowly, slowly build up into a huge pile of cash and we'll just see where we go from there. But considering this is my job, posting YouTube videos and TikToks and Instagrams and all that stuff, I should probably post a little bit more so that I can get that money in order to invest. So you'll be seeing my face a lot more. Hope that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. Hope you've enjoyed this very, very quick video. And don't forget to get your free shares down in the description. I'm not a millionaire, but I'm trying to help you become one. So, peace. So, like the. <coughs>